Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Soccer Wars, so all my love. Last time, Diana fainted at the sight of chickens being eaten. <laughs> anyway, this time, uh, we're not gonna be eating chickens. Anyway, sorry about earlier. I, I shouldn't have lost my composure. I, I knew you were just trying to help. No, I should be the one apologizing. We really didn't mean to frighten you. Oh, I understand. They brought the food to try to make me feel good. So don't worry about it. I'm glad you feel that way. They were really worried about what happened. Really? Hmm. Well, next time I'll feed you all some of my own favorite foods. Oh, that sounds great. I'll be really happy to hear it. That's my bird impression. Oh, the birds! Fun to play! <laughs> I've had so many guests today. Why don't we head out into the garden, Shin? <coughs> Sorry. I get my voice ready to go. Sure, here, let me help you. Thank you. We can go out through that door there. Come on over, little ones. Thank you for coming to see us today. <laughs> I'll get too used to that. You're really friendly with them, Diana. It's almost like you can understand them. Mm, I suppose. You can communicate them if you just open your heart to them. Really? You make me feel like I can almost do it for real. Oh, uh, Diana, look at that bird over there. It looks like he's injured. Oh no! Shin! Can you carry him over to me right away? Okay, I have to carry him carefully. I don't want to injure him any further. No, they don't make you do a button pushing segment, and if you fail, his neck snaps. <laughs> oh, that'd be terrible. That'd be so terrible. This bird's wing is injured. How, is, how bad is it, Diana? Hmm. With my skills, I think I can treat his injury. The spirit is. What? What is it? Is his injury really that bad? I'm sorry to say, he won't survive. I can feel his life energy draining away. His light of life is about to be extinguished. There is no cure, and he'll probably die soon. Ah. But. How do you know? Nobody can know when we're destined to die. I'm sorry, but I do know. I can't explain it easily in words. But I can see his fate. I can see the light of his life fading away. What are you, emo? Hope you don't have rip freaking scars on your wrists. That would suck. It's about to be extinguished. That's the only way I can explain it. Diana. And the light of my own life as well. Yeah, she's emo as all hell. So much for being a super happy girl. I'm sorry, but could you please go for today? I'm not feeling so well. Ugh. I'm surprised she's not wearing all black and, like, crying all the time. I don't know. No silly emos. You'll be fine. You'll fly again someday. I'll save you. So don't worry about your fate. In quotation marks. That means it's bullshit. Shin's not one who believes in fate. I see. So you've decided to take care of the bird until it gets better, huh? That's right. But I really don't want to... I don't really know what to do with him. Let's eat him! No, Rosita, damn it! No, good heavens. Anyway, let me see the bird, Shin. I like this picture here. I don't know, I've always liked it. How does he look? Can you tell? His wing is injured, but the bones seem to be intact. So you think he can recover? Unfortunately, no. 
He will almost certainly never fly again. Diana was correct. Some vital muscles and nerves are damaged. He will live, but he can't flap his wings fully. Hey, hold on. So you mean he's gonna die and we can't do a thing? Come on, that can't be. Well, we can treat the injury and just try to keep rehabilitating him. Rehabilitate? But what's that? It means we help him slowly exercise until his body is used to normal movement again. So there's still hope. The bird might just be able to recover. The chances are near zero, but yes, there is some hope. It will be very hard on him, however. Then... We still have to try. What do you guys say? I like it! I'm gonna help too! Me too! I wanna help! You have to try. Do you really think things are that simple? But... First of all, what can we do? None of us have any experience with injured animals. Yeah, I know, but you don't have to sound so cold about the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, true. Subaru always seems like the Debbie Downer of the group. Not sure we're all willing to help out, right, Subaru? Oh, 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 fuck do I yawn every episode? Ah! Son of a bitch! Well, I never said I wouldn't give it my best. Everyone, thank you. But I wonder what Diana meant when she talked about the light of life. Hmm. I guess it's something like fate or destiny. That's absolutely right, Shinli. Oh boy, it's Sunnyside again. Mr. Sunnyside, what's going on? I'm thinking of making Diana part of the New York Combat Review. I see. It's because of her psychic abilities, isn't it? Huh? Does that mean... Diana can use her Numa? Is that why she's joining the team? That's right. Her Numa is so massive, she can even use it to glimpse into the future. Her Numa is too large for her, her control with her body. And because of that, her Numa is unstable, leading to her poor health. Basically. Not to mention, she's never been in very good health, which just makes things worse. That much Numa can only be controlled if the person has enormous willpower. And that's the will to live. Exactly. For those who long for death, there is no such thing as a future. I'm begging you to fill her with hope and the will to live. Do you think you can do it? I see. Then I'd be glad to do it, if you'll let me. I'm glad you accept. Now then, it's showtime! Everyone, do your best. Okay. Okay, DK! Donkey Kong! DK! Donkey Kong is here! I could sing the whole DK rap from it, the N64 version. Oh man, I could definitely do that, but I'm not gonna. This is not the time nor the place. Maybe if I do a Donkey Kong 64 LP, I'll do that. It's just sing the whole thing. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, such powerful cheers. Subaru's handling is just as popular as ever. Thanks for your hard work, Shin. I hear you had quite a long day. Oh, Ratchet. Don't you have to perform on stage? No. Once the curtain rises, my job is over. I get to watch the girls deliver a lovely dream. Although, I must admit that I do miss the spotlight. <laughs> you definitely are, Miss Superstar. Ha, <laughs> I thought so. Ratchet definitely seems like the type who'd love the spotlight, I gotta say. By the way, Sunny Outside was, like, really impressed with your insights. What are you talking about? You quickly realize how Diana was able to use her Numa. <laughs> really? Well, thanks. That really makes me feel good. Oh, we just great. <laughs> wow, such an amazing response from the audience. The musical has reached its climax. To be or not to be. 
to be or not to be? Not not to be like a British man. No, we're not doing the British accent. My apparently my British accent sucks. Anyway, that's probably Hamlet's most famous line. How to use the time we have? Like such a timeless idea. I see. To be or not to be? It really is a tough question. Like, speaking of which, what do you think Diana should do with the time she has left? Ah, I have an idea. Ratchet! She can watch our musical. I'm sure she'll want to keep on living when she sees it. That's not a bad idea. She did mention how she loves Shakespeare. And Hamlet is the perfect story to help her question things like life and death. Plus, just seeing such an energetic performance may give her more willpower. Today's show is nearly over, so I'll, like, reserve the perfect spot for her next time. Please, like, invite her to the show. Okay, I definitely will. Thank you, Ratchet. No problem. Like, just do whatever it takes to convince her to, like, come to the show. It might also be a good idea to meet up with her early on and take her around the city. New York is always brimming with energetic people and places. Yes, I will. All right, I'll do my very best tomorrow. Do your best! That is the samurai way! That is the true way of the samurai. To do your best in the face of overwhelming odds. She's so damn emo! I'm an emo kid. I'm just gonna keep saying emo shit every time we see Diana now. I'm just gonna start talking about emo stuff. You're looking better. I'll take care of you again until you can fly. And I'll do the same for Diana. I'm sure she'll fly again, too. And there you go, guys. And yep, basically still what I was expecting there. And Diana is still technically not on the list yet. But she will be towards the end of this chapter. Alright, so I'm going to cut real quick, and we'll start the next part. Okay, so where were we? Oh yeah, going on to the next part. Wow, that was funny. I, I don't- I was like, half intending that to be a joke, and then half intending that to be serious. I don't know... I'm out of it. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to show her all around the city, then go to the show with her. God, you're fucking stupid, Patrick. I swear to God. Oh my. Hello, Diana, are you home? Ah, uh, Mr. Tiger, you really mustn't visit Mr. Sunnyside without making an appointment. It's fine, it's fine. Hello, Shin. Diana's in her room. When going out with a girl, you, your first, first words are the most important. So don't mess it up. Like I just did. Fucking stumble over my words. I understand, my first words, huh? Well, there, when there's a will, there's a way. Knock, knock. Hi, Diana. How are you? Ah, Shin, stopping by again today. Well, do you like musicals? We'll be performing Hamlet at the theater today. Oh, I love musicals. My parents used to take me to performances all the time when I was younger. I don't always understand the stories, but I just love the ambiance. Isn't that funny? In that case, why don't we uh, go watch the show together? I'd like to, but I don't think it's possible because of my wheelchair. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll take care of it. I do appreciate the thought, but I'd rather just stay here until my time is at an end. So fucking emo! Come on, trust me, you're gonna have a lot of fun, I promise. 
Shin, Diana, hello! Are you two planning to head out by any chance? Uncle Sunnyside, I... You should go, Diana. Don't stay cooped up in this cage or you'll forget how to fly. Diana. Very well. I'll go with you. But if I don't feel well, I can leave, right? Of course. But you're gonna feel great the whole time. Now let's go see New York City. Alright, we're leaving, Mr. Sunnyside. So long, farewell, Itarashi. Teach her the joy of living. Itarashi, actually, is what he... Itarashi, yeah. Yay, now we're gonna tour New York with Diana. So, where should I take her next? She said she doesn't like noise, so I should take her somewhere quiet. Um, is everything okay? Oh yeah, so uh, let's go on a tour of New York City. And with that, guys, I must end the episode. Next time, me and Diana are gonna go tour around New York. I was lots of fun. <laughs> I could be a total dickhead, I really could. She's probably getting very dizzy right about now. I could just keep this going for a good 10 seconds or so. Okay, okay, end the episode, dumbass. <laughs>